Hi, my name is Jessica Ward and I'm a teacher here at Heritage High School. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for viewing um, my video tutorial and doing the online student survey. Um, I'm really trying to incorporate more technology. It makes life a little bit easier and it really helps when the parents kind of get on board with that. So um, thanks again for viewing the video. Um, like I said, my name is Jessica Ward and um, I've been teaching now for eight years. Five of those have been here at Heritage and um, I teach in the Department of Family Consumer Science and I absolutely love what I do. So come on into my classroom and um, get a tour. Here is our classroom binder shelf. This is where all the students uh, put their binders on the shelf every day. Here's an area where I display a weekly quote. And here's their objective board where they find out what we're doing every day. And then you can just kind of get a feel for the rest of the classroom. Notice the doorway in the back. Those white tables that are in the back will actually have sewing machines on them eventually when we get to that part. And here is my desk here. Um, that was a tour of my room, and um, now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what Family and Consumer Science is. So in Family and Consumer Science, um, we do a lot of different things, but I have students who come in all the time and they say, oh my gosh, my, my parents took this class, or somebody told me that this was home ec, and um, I always have to kind of laugh a little bit, because home ec was done away with in the 90s, and I'm going to kind of, you know, walk you through what happened. Um, you know, a long time ago, women were um, being prepared to stay at home and, and balance a home life. And although that is very important and uh, what a lot of women still do, um, as we got into the 90s, gender roles started to change and a lot of women started going to work. We started having a lot of dual career families. And so the need to just teach women and women alone how to balance a home life um, kind of went to the wayside. So in 1994, they did away with home ec and they adopted family and consumer science. Family Consumer Science is a class for both men and women where we expose them to a lot of different careers. Um, we expose them to careers all the way from housing, um, the housing industry and, and design, child development, parenting, uh, finance, foods, hospitality, um, food safety, clothing and textiles, um, nutrition and wellness, the list goes on. Uh, we, we expose kids to all those different areas in this class and um, we teach them how to balance a successful home life with a successful career life. So, um, you know, this class still teaches people how to balance that delicate home life, but um, we also have the career component now. So whenever you hear somebody talk about home ec or um, you talk to your kids about, oh, I took that when I was in school, it's probably a, a little bit different, but, um, you know, now you know the difference. So, okay. Um, I also had a part um, where you guys are going to be taking a parent survey and I just wanted to let you know that as a teacher I come to work every day with a heart to motivate and inspire the students that sit in my class and sometimes at the beginning of the year that seems to be a little difficult and why it's so difficult is because um, I don't know a lot about these kids and I, I really want to know. So I only ask you a couple of questions about your students on the survey and I just ask that you take those seriously and, and if there's anything that you feel like I need to know, please be sure to include it. Anything that can help me get to know these kids better um, is helpful for me and in turn helpful for them and, and the growth they experience in this class. Um, email, me, e email is the best way to contact me. So I wrote my email address on here. I think that you can see it. It's jward at rps.k12.ar.us. And throughout the day, I am able to check my email several times. So if there's ever anything that I can do um, to help you or anything I need to know about your child, please email me. Um, that is a way I can get back with you really quickly. And always include your cell phone number on there. Um, if I can check the email and it's something that we need to discuss, then I can call you when I get a break or I'm on my planning period. So um, your student also has a class supply list that I sent them home with. Um, most of you probably already got your class supplies, but just know that if you weren't able to get those or um, you're getting them later, um, I can always cover supplies or, or any, anything that's needed. 
There was one more thing that I asked you guys to do and that was sign up for an, an application um, called Remind 101. You actually don't have to download the app. All you have to do is open a text message. And um, on the letter that I sent home and in the survey, it walks you through how to do it. You text to a, a specific number and you text um, the at, for example, at F-A-C-S-P-A-R. That would be for my fax parents. Um, and then when you hit send, it enrolls you in this remind program where occasionally, if I send home um, you know, a, a supply list for a project that we're doing or we have an upcoming test or a project that the kids are working on, I can just quickly send all my parents a text message and keep you updated on what's going on in my room. So, um, like I said, please feel free to contact me. If there's any comments, questions, include those in the parent survey. And I really look forward to having your kids in my class this year and let me know if there's anything I can do.